continuation of a previous lecture. Now today we discuss about a inverse transform and a linear fractional transform. So first we discuss about a inverse transform and one numerical example based on a inverse transform. Then we discuss about a linear fractional transform and numerical based on a linear fractional transform. So what is the inverse transform? Inverse transform. Inverse transform. Transform. Inverse transform. A transform of the form. A transform. A transform of the form. Of the form. W equal one upon z. Is called what? It's called inverse transform. So here, z is a z plane and w is a w plane. So if we closely observe this one, w is equal one upon z. This one is a defined. There is a one and one point corresponding to each w, each z in a w plane. Means so for one point in a z plane, there is a one point in a w plane. So means so one to one. One to one, one to one mapping, one to one mapping, one to one mapping, one to one mapping. Here we write a mapping, mapping between between z plane and w plane, z plane and w plane. Things means uh, how we we try to analyze this one. We may write this one means uh, w equal what? W equal multiplied by z bar in numerator and denominator. Then this becomes z bar into z multiplied by z bar in the numerator and denominator. So this can be written as what? This can be written as z bar divided by mod z whole square. Because z into z bar is a mod z square, so we may write this one also in this form. Means I w one equal z divided by mod z square. Then w equal what? W equal w one bar. W equal w one bar. Now this can be also written as a mod of a w one. Mod of a W one equal what? Mod of a W one equal mod of a Z one. Mod of a Z square. This become mod upon mod Z. Mod Z. So if we closely observe this one, this one is a what? Mod of a W one equal one upon mod Z. Mod Z is a what? This one is equation of a unit circle. So if we try to analyze this one, what is the meaning of this one? This one is in a z plane. In a z plane, this one is a mod z equal one. Mod z equal one. Mod z equal one. This one is a what? This one is a circle with unit radius. What? Mod z equal one. So here, mod z equal one. This one is in a z plane. This one is a mod z equal one. This one is a x y plane. X y. Means that this one is a z plane, z plane, and this one is a zero zero, and what is the radius? Radius is one. Radius is one. And mod w one equal what? Mod w one equal if we try to find out the image in a w plane, what is the image in a w plane? This one is a u, and this one is a v, and here. If we draw a unit circle in a W plane, in a W plane, this will be a W plane, W plane, W plane, and this will be the set. What means a mod of a W one equal what? Mod of a W one equal one. So if mod Z equal one, then mod of a W one equal what? Mod of a W one equal one. Mod Z equal one. 
then mod of a w1 1 by 1 this become mod of a w1 equal 1. So this one is in a z plane unit circle and this one is in a w plane unit circle this one is a mod z equal 1 mod z equal 1 and this one is a mod w1 equal 1 mod w1 equal 1. Now if you closely observe now here if a uh, any point inside this circle, inside this circle, inside this circle, this one is less than 1, suppose this one is a 1 by 2, z equals 1 by 2, mod z equal 1 by 2, 1 by 2, then this become mod w1 equal what? 2. Okay, so this one is outside the circle, outside the circle. So all the points which map inside the z plane, in a w plane, this one map outside the region outside the region outside the region outside the means a uh, mod of a z is a less than 1 then mod of a w1 is a greater than 1 and if mod of a z is a greater than 1 then mod of a w1 is a less than 1 and if mod of a z equal to 1 means a uh, this one this circumference, this circumference correspond to this circumference, this circumference, this circumference. What we can do that inner region of a jet plane of a unit circle map to the outer region of a unit circle of a W plane and outer region of a jet plane Z plane map to the inner region of a W plane of a unit circle. Unit circle in a W plane. And circumference in a Z plane of a circle mod Z equal 1 represent the circumference of a W1 equal 1. So this one is a 1 analysis. How we represent the uh, inverse map W equal 1 upon Z means uh, inner region, outer region, outer region, inner region and boundary represent the boundary. So this one is a one interpretation of our interpretation of our inverse transform. Now we take a one example of our inverse transform then we try to define the bilinear term. So let us we take a one example based on a inverse transform. So what is the example means a problem find the image in the W plane of the disk Z minus 1 less or equal to 1 in a Z plane under the mapping W equal 1 upon Z means a, what is the image of a this disk in a W plane under the inverse transform. So what is the solution? We try to find out the solution of this one. Solution of this one. What is the transform? What is the mapping? W equal what? W equal W equal 1 upon Z. 1 upon Z. So here, uh, what is our aim? Our aim is a uh, what to write? Write this one in term of a U and P. Means uh, this one given in term of X and Y. So we write in term of our U and P. So W equal 1 upon Z and mod of a Z minus 1 is a less or equal to 1. So what we write here? Z equal what? Z equal what? 1 upon W. So we write here mod of a 1 upon W minus 1 is a less or equal to 1. So once we write this in this form, if we simplify this one, then this become what? 1 upon W means uh, 1 minus W mod divided by 1 minus W divided by mod of a W is a less or equal to 1. Mod of a 1 minus W is a less or equal to mod of a W. So here we try to write what? In place of a W what? U plus I mean. So this will become 1 minus u plus iv less or equal to 
mod of a u plus i v mod of a u plus i v so this become what if we equate the real and imaginary part this become u minus 1 plus i v less or equal to mod of a u plus i v now taking the mod of a this one what is the value this become uh, mod of a this one means under root x square plus y square and squaring both sides then what will happen this become u minus 1 whole square plus v square less or equal to what u square plus v square so what will happen here this become u square plus 1 minus twice u plus v square is a less or equal to u square plus v square so u square v square u square v square cancel out so 1 minus twice u is a less or equal to 0 then twice u is a greater or equal to 1 and what is the final result if we simplify this one 2u is a greater or equal to 1 then u is a greater or equal to 1 by right? now it answer the question what is the question question is a mod z minus 1 is a less or equal to 1 this one is a disk and what is the uh, image of this one in our w play image of this one is a u is a greater or equal to 1 by 2 so if try to visualize this one with the help of a image mod of a z minus 1 center at what center at 1 0 so if we visualize this one this one is a, what is the radius radius is a 1 and what is the center center at 1 0 center at 1 0 so this one is a center this one is a 1 0 1 0 and what is the radius radius is a 1 so this one is a center this one is a disk this one is a disk this one is a disk and here this one is a disk and this one is a 1 0 and what is the radius the radius is a 1 so less than 1 this one is the reason this one is the reason this one is a you know, z plane z plane this one is the mod of all z minus 1 is less than less or equal to 1 less or equal to 1 but what will happen in a uv plane u is a greater or equal to 1 by 2 u is a greater or equal to 1 by 2 so here this one is a uv plane uv plane and you may also say that this one is a w plane w plane so what will happen here u is a greater or equal to 1 by 2 means uh, this one is a what this one is a reason this one is a 1 so this one is a what 1 by 2 so this one is a reason this one is a u equal 1 by 2 this one is a u equal 1 by 2 u equal 1 by 2 greater or equal to means this reason this reason this reason this reason this reason so this one is a what this one map this image inside of uh, this circular disk map to the after this straight line means uh, image of uh, this one map to image of uh, this one so this one is a mapping of a uh, image from z plane to a w plane under the mapping under the inverse transform so this one is a one example there is a similarly there is a many more example based on a inverse transform now one another thing that there is a need to means uh, discuss about uh, w equal 1 by z w equal 1 by z if we talk about extended complex plane extended complex plane extended complex plane complex plane means uh, we include the what we include the infinite then what will happen since this one is a one to one map in a finite plane of a corresponding z plane to a w plane so if z equal infinite then corresponding to value w map to the zero if z equal what z equal infinite then w equal zero and if w equal infinite then z equal zero means zero map to a what zero map to a infinite and infinite map to a zero so this one is a very means an important concept in case of a extended complex plane if we consider infinite also be the part of a what be the part of a 